Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It is Friday, October 30th. It's a nice brisk day, but the wind has calmed down, so it doesn't feel as bad as it has been the past few days. The storm's kind of blasted through here. I think the kids are going to have a, a great Halloween tomorrow. I'm going to talk a bit about that in tomorrow's video footage. Treats and all that goodies. I freaking love chocolate. So, good conversation coming up tomorrow. Uh, right now, out for a walk with Chief. What's up, dog? <laughs> uh, just a great way to start the day. Already feeling some doms from last night's leg workout. So it feels good to keep the legs moving. One of the best things that I could do when I get a bit of doms in the legs. Just keep that blood flowing to them. Uh, this is a good little warm up. We're about to uh, hit the gym immediately after this to blast shoulders. Uh, I'll be getting there. Whoop, got a little alert popping up here. Sorry. Uh, I'll be uh, joining Paul and Rick, or Paul's going to be joining Rick and I again today, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to that. Um, see how I feel. I feel absolutely freaking amazing right now, so if I have the energy, it's just shoulders, so I should have a lot of energy afterwards. I'll probably hit the, the step mill uh, or the recumbent bike for some intervals. I'm just not sure. Got to see how my legs are feeling for the intervals. I uh, want to make sure I allow them time to recover. All that good stuff. Uh, tonight going to be going out with the guys for darts. Every other Friday night we uh, play darts with my brother-in-laws, my workout partner Rick. For the past few months been uh, been drinking a lot of alcohol uh, excessively uh, on these nights. It's been kind of fun to let loose I guess but uh, just feeling pretty crappy from it all. I'm not really in the mood for that anymore. I also overindulge. I uh, eat a lot of chips so Gonna be bringing a veggie platter with me tonight. My brother-in-law's trying to lose weight. Rick's trying to cut, so I'm gonna get you behind the scenes for that footage as well. Uh, should be a fun little experience for you to see. Talk soon. I woke up at 6:30 a.m. Grabbed myself a cup of coffee with a little drop of 2% milk, quarter to nine. Made eight egg whites, one extra large egg, some mushrooms, spinach, cooked in half a tablespoon of coconut oil, and topped with a little bit of ketchup. Just before 10 a.m., brought Chief for that 30-minute brisk walk that you saw me on earlier. And then 10.30, hit the gym. And here we got Paul starting us off. Uh, this is a super set. We started with lateral raises, 10 to 12 reps. And then here with the dumbbell shoulder press, we're supposed to be aiming for six to eight reps. Now, Paul isn't used to challenging himself with the weight and, and lifting in the, the lower rep range. So a little trial and error with the weight. This was definitely too light for him. So he's really enjoying that we're, we're challenging him, getting him to step outside of his comfort zone. Now, I really don't like seeing anyone bringing the dumbbells close together here. Um, I find it takes some of the tension off of the delts. It can also aggravate the shoulders, especially the AC joint there. Um, so in between sets, I was telling him to keep his hands outside of his shoulders as he's coming up. So there we go. So his hands go. never come close together. His hands never Good. cross his shoulders. I find this keeps a lot more tension on your delts. I find it's a lot safer for the shoulder joint. And this is five pounds heavier than what he was doing that first set. So it was a really nice challenge for him. Uh, so really trial and error, trying to find a weight that Beautiful. suits the target rep range that we're aiming for. Uh, here Rick was, he's starting his set off, so the lateral raises, then heading on to the, the dumbbell shoulder press afterward. But look at the details in his shoulders, look at those rear delts <laughs> popping out. So if you haven't been following us for the past couple days, Paul's 51, Rick's 52, both of their birthdays are in January coming up. Um, and just great shape, man. These guys are great role models for all us young guys. Uh, Rick is just kicking butt. <laughs> I love the little grunting and groaning. We got really good camaraderie going on here. Uh, later on, we're doing a super set between rear delt flies and face pulls. Pretty happy with my rear delts popping out there as well. It's, uh, it's an area that we're definitely focusing a lot more attention on. We never work our front delts anymore. We find that they get enough work with um, a lot of the other exercises, whether it's the shoulder press, chest pressing. Yeah. Um, so not too often. We used to always make sure that we included one exercise for the front delt, so it's been a long time since we've done that. That's uh, an area that's already pretty well developed on us anyway, so we really want to bring up those rear delts. Face pulls we're doing on the seated row machine here, and uh, really loving it. Keeps us nice and stable, locked in place. Still pretty new 
exercise to me. So still trying to find the exact, like the best position where I feel most comfortable pulling up towards my face and bringing those elbows back, just really making sure that it's hitting the rear delts. Uh, all in all, this felt pretty darn good. Higher reps for this. Got Rick doing the same thing here. Again, just, there's Paul walking in the background, just showing off the details on, on Rick's physique. It definitely it inspires me. You're gonna see us I think next Friday, so one week from now, we're, uh, I think we're gonna start posing down in the aerobics room afterwards, just kind of sharing our progress updates. That's something that's been, uh, really helped us with accountability in the past. Uh, I think a lot of other people inspires them, motivates them as well when they see us progressing from week to week. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. We just like getting down there, stripping down through our boxers and, and flexing our muscles and, and seeing, Get, becoming fascinated with the details that we're seeing nice pop tight. out in our physique. So Not any of the previous uh, shredded saga videos that do, uh, that we've done in the past, whenever we've gone through cutting phases, you can get an idea of what, uh, what we've done there. Um, just a lot of excitement. This was an awesome workout, really enjoying ourselves as always in the gym. We freaking love this stuff. Can't stand a day without being here. All right, so as the morning's been going on, uh, the DOMS is definitely kicking in here. Uh, after the workout, I just decided that uh, my legs need a little bit more recovery time. Uh, doing some stair climbing or doing hit on the bike uh, probably wouldn't be a good idea at this time. So Paul and I went downstairs, did some battle ropes and skipping for 20 minutes, going back and forth. Uh, about 30 seconds each non-stop for the full 20 minutes just like we did on Wednesday together it was an absolute blast worked up a good sweat perfect after shoulders because shoulders were already pumped and the battle ropes really even the skipping gets a good little shoulder pump going lots of blood flow into it so felt incredible uh, feel amazing right now so I'm gonna go home grab my post workout meal uh, just feeling on top of the freaking world. I'm blown away that I'm in a deficit right now because I feel incredible. Uh, really looking forward to stepping up my game this weekend and putting into action the plan that I have in place after learning from blowing my diet last weekend. So let's get to the rest of that footage. Again, thanks for following this journey and sharing it with me. Uh, I appreciate you. So post-workout, quarter to one, grab myself two-third cups oats, three-quarter cup blueberries, one scoop of protein powder, very nourishing. Just before 3.30, grab one and a quarter cups of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, and a cup of mixed berries. There's some dark cherries in there, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, all that good stuff. And here my son is coming home off the bus from school, 14 years old, in grade nine right now, dressed as a cow. Just cracks me up seeing him walking down the street. They had a blast today at school. There's one of his other buddies there. And here's Chief. <laughs> Too funny. So dinner, 5.30, got some breaded pork chops going on there, some mixed veggies, some hash browns for Angie and the kids. So just a light Italian um, breadcrumbs in there, uh, dip them in eggs, dip the pork chops in eggs, and uh, there's some bit of margarine melted in the pan there to, to fry them up. I had basmati rice and I mixed some salsa in with it uh, instead of having the hash browns. Lots of mixed veggies in there. Just a delicious, delicious dinner. Getting ready to go for darts. Made myself this mixed veggie tray. So peppers, broccoli, celery, carrots, a little bit of jalapeno dip. Uh, All right, it was so awesome. So going to give a little recap from uh, my night last night. Playing darts with the guys. Had an absolute blast. I am ridiculous ridiculously proud of myself for how I controlled my eating during that time. That veggie platter, I devoured it. Oh my God, I have never eaten so many veggies in my life. And it is, um, it's pretty eye-opening to see how filling and satisfying they are. Uh, the thing with dart night is that like between throws, I always have to grab for something, whether it's a drink or some food. And in most cases, um, I mean, we do some pretty good boozing on dart night. Uh, so it'd be a mixed drink or a beer that I'd be grabbing for, uh, and chips. We always bring tons and tons of chips, and I would just pig out on that stuff nonstop all night long, just feel really uncomfortable the next day. And um, so I knew I needed something there that I could reach for and still be good for me and keep me in my caloric deficit. So up to this point, before darts, I was sitting around 1,700 calories. 
So I knew this was going to be a bit of a refeed day for me, so I just wanted to make sure that I was keeping things under 2,500 calories, my maintenance level calories. So I had my veggie tray, and I didn't feel out of place with that because um, we've brought veggie trays before. And uh, the other thing is Rick, Rick's cutting right now, and my brother-in-law is also trying to lose some weight. So um, we're kind of there's a few of us that are in that fat loss mode. And people were loving it. People were loving the veggie tray. And uh, I didn't have any alcohol. I brought water with me. Rick brought some pepperettes, some turkey pepperettes. So getting a bit of protein in there. Not the best thing. I mean, it's still pretty much garbage. But each one is 50 calories. So I think I had about eight of those, which adds up to 400 calories. And then just tons and tons of veggies, uh, which really don't add up to, to many calories at all. So as you saw there, the celery, peppers. I really love peppers, just raw peppers. I can pop like crazy. Broccoli is a little tough to get down, <laughs> but uh, still I was enjoying it. It was something to, to chew on. Uh, I forget at this moment what else we had. It was just oh, carrots. Carrots are pretty tasty too. So I definitely, I'd say right around maintenance for the day, right around that 24, 2500 calories, feeling really, really good about it. Just feel, I mean, that's a huge mental victory for me. Uh, weekends are tough to begin with, Dart night, really, really tough for me to control my eating during that time. So really found a solution that worked for me. Planning ahead of time worked really, really well for me. Um, just I feel like I'm in a, the right headspace right now. So um, I'm still, actually it's Saturday morning right now. I'll talk about this in tomorrow's video. Um, I'm full still right now um, from all those veggies. Um, so I'm probably going to be delaying my breakfast because I don't feel very hungry right now. But um, um yeah, all in all, just awesome, huge victory. We've got a Halloween party tomorrow night. That's going to be a big, big test for me. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But my head's in the right place right now. And uh, this kind of accountability works really, really well for me. And as I said, just being aware of what happened last weekend and really spending a good chunk of this week mentally preparing myself for the weekend, having a plan of action to work with um, was huge, very tremendous for me. So... I'll keep you posted on how things go tomorrow. Catch you next.